My name is Jeremiah Green, class of 2025. I attend Guyer High School and I play for Pro Skills EYBO. I've been playing since I was five. Who was that? Let me see. Uh, little Tykes. Oh, he was like two and a half. I think on that picture. Yeah, about two oh, and yeah, a half. He was, big. he was little. That was 2009. Yep. Oh, here's another one. I think he was like probably four here. Four or five. Maybe four. I'm Nicole Green, Jeremiah Green's mom. When he was little, that little Tykes picture that um, I showed you, that was the first time he had gotten that goal and he wanted to go outside. And it was funny because it came with a little small Tykes goal, you know, the little basketball, but he didn't want that. He wanted the big ball. So we gave him the big ball and he shot his first shot and he had a perfect follow through without anything being taught. It was just perfect. And I looked at Lee and I was like, uh oh. And uh, of course, Lee's eyes beamed. He was excited. Uh, Jeremiah was born a few months before I started my program, but even before that, uh, when I left my job to uh, start the AAU program, I just wanted to give back and help kids with, within the game of basketball. And uh, when I made that decision to leave, that's when my wife, a few months later, we found out that she was pregnant with Jeremiah. And uh, ever since then, Jeremiah has been born into the game of basketball. Uh, even when I was coaching AAU games, Jeremiah was sitting on the bench with me and uh, just occupying himself, but at the same time watching the game as a little kid. Um, when I was doing training, he would be in the gym riding on his little uh, tricycle, um, entertaining himself, but again, he was always around the game. So basketball is just something that he's just, he just been born into, and because of that, um, he's, he's, he's able to play at a high level, and uh, he has a good feel for the game, and uh, his basketball IQ continues to enhance. It's been amazing to watch him grow ever since he was little. And I can see that he's really passionate about it. He eats, sleeps, breathes basketball. He wakes up and it's to the point now that when he, you know, when he was younger, we would have to say, Jeremiah, we're gonna go to the gym. Do you wanna go to the gym? And he'd say, yeah. But now it's like, he goes to Lee and he's like, dad, are we going to the gym today? What time are we going? Like he is passionate. That's what he wants to do. He knows that it's a calling from God and he's taking it and he's running with it. And it's just been a joy to see what God has instilled in him. And now that it's coming to light and he's really learning how to use that gift that God's given him. It's been a huge impact um, from like traveling from all over the place, uh, meeting new people, new coaches, uh, just the whole experience overall. It's it's been great. That one is from the Maps Combine. <clears throat> this one's from Pangos. That USA jersey was from the first training camp I went to. Crossroads is from the camp in Kansas City. That's my old Pro Skills jersey, and then CP3. And then this jersey right here, this is from the first time I went to USA in New Orleans. So in New Orleans, I was playing against everybody. Um, it was it was like a different feel. It felt like an NBA training camp. So it's, that's my most favorite one. And then my freshman year, I got co-newcomer of the year, first team all district, then first team all area. I believe he has a chance to go far beyond than what I played. Um, I was fortunate enough to play at the uh, Division One level at North Texas, and uh, I feel like he'd go high major and possibly even play in the NBA. He's he's really kind. He's hardworking. He's really funny. He like likes to like joke around a lot. Do you think he's gonna go into the NBA? Yes, I do. And what, what do you what are you gonna ask him to buy you when he makes it there? <laughs> Like I think like shoes or something, or like or like a car because like you know. I Go for know. the big stuff. 
Oh, like a house or something. Here we go. Okay. Her own house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 like I can have like like half of the house. Uh, like, like can I have the upstairs? Yeah. <laughs> can I have like like half of your kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> like like you can split the kitchen. So I can have my my own food. There. Um, he's a basketball player, obviously. Um, he's super nice. He's very funny. Like, once you get to know him and stuff, he'll be, like, very funny. But at first, he's, like, super shy. But, like, if you get to know him, he's super nice and funny. Um, he's hardworking, like my sister said, and he's, um, yeah, he's good at what he does. How was it training with your brother? Yeah, how, how was that at the beginning? Annoying. Okay, like, so, like, in the drills, like, if we had to make a certain amount of shots, it sucked because, like, I'd have to make all the shots. And, you know, sometimes she get in her feelings, so, like, if she miss a couple shots, she's done. But, I mean, it's cool, it's a great experience. Now, what about that? No? Yeah, cause she, she it's right there. Yeah, yeah, she's cool, just joking. And what are you hoping to accomplish this weekend at the TABC? I just want to show I'm the best player like in the whole gym. I want to show these college coaches what I can all do, be an all-around player, and be a good teammate and a good leader.